A boy is sitting on the road, distracted. A man who is cutting the pavement's grass spots a car driving towards the young boy. He jumps behind the car to prevent it from driving over the boy. The driver gets out of the car and sees the damage caused by the collision. He shouts and complains about the damage. The man says that he was only trying to save the boy. The boy's mother approaches, shouting. She shouts at the poor man to get away from her son. He says he's sorry and that he's only trying to help, and he tries to run away. But the driver prevents him from escaping and tells him that he needs to pay to fix his car. The man refuses, and the angry driver punches his face. The driver calls the man a delinquent and says that he can't leave until he gives him the money to fix the car. The man says that he has no money and tries to stand up. He touches the car, trying to stand up after the punch, and the driver insults him, telling him to take his dirty hands out of his car. The mother approaches the driver again to express her gratitude to him for saving her son. The car owner says he told the woman to stay because she needed to do something to the weirdo who tried to kidnap her son. The mother says that isn't worth the effort and tells him that's alright. He tries to seize the woman and convince her to report what happened to a policeman. She tells him to lay off. She then looks out for her son and realizes that the man is running away with him. The driver complains again about the state of his car. Meanwhile, a policeman is having a break in a nearby cafe, and he sees the man running away with the kid. Seconds later, the car owner arrives with the kid's mother, running after the pair. He tells the policeman to help him seize a weirdo who kidnapped a boy. He follows him, but the boy's mother decides to run in the opposite direction. The policeman and the angry driver chase them, but suddenly the man becomes short-tempered and is forced to stop to recover. The policeman approaches behind him and tries to arrest him. He says that they've got a special jail cell for people like him. The poor man tries to explain what happened, but the angry driver informs the officer that the poor man damaged his car on purpose and also tried to kidnap the kid. The police officer orders the poor man to shut up because of his right to remain silent and tells the man to follow him to the station. The boy calls the policeman and says that it's a big mistake. The boy says that he was distracted while painting the road with chalk, and the driver nearly ran him over. But the old man jumped against the car to save him. The driver says he's sorry and says it was a blind spot because he couldn't see him on the road. He says that he's just angry because the lowlife damaged his expensive car. He asks where his mother is. The boy says that that woman isn't his mother, and he says that he doesn't even know her. The poor man says that he recognized the woman who pretended to be the boy's mother. He says that he found it suspicious that she didn't want to report anything to the police. He says he saw her face on a wanted poster he found in the street. He asks the policeman to get the poster out of his pocket. The policeman checks the poster, and the angry driver confirms that he was talking to that woman from the poster. Suddenly, the real mother approaches and calls her son. She says she's been looking for him all day and asks if he's alright. She kisses him, crying, and says she's so relieved to find him. The boy says that the man saved him from being run over by the car that the other man was driving. The mother thanks the poor man for saving her boy. She offers him a reward, but the poor man refuses. She insists and hands the poor man the money, expressing her gratitude for saving the boy. The poor man offers the money to the driver to fix his car. The driver tells him to keep it because he taught him a great life lesson for trying to help the kid and tells the poor man to keep the money. They leave, but the boy approaches the poor man, who's astonished with the money, and hugs him, thanking him for saving his life. The boy says goodbye and leaves. Later, the kidnapper talks to someone on her phone. She says that a scoundrel ruined her plan. The police officer passes by her and gets the poster out of his pocket to check if she's really the wanted criminal. He calls her and confirms that she is indeed the kidnapper. The policeman arrests the woman and tells her that she's going with him to the station. She screams, saying that it's a misunderstanding, and tries to resist her arrest. The officer takes the criminal, handcuffed, to the police station.